said, if you get caught with, you know, say drinking on the job or having, you know, illegal substances on you on the job, and you get fired for the world to see on camera. Like I said, it's, it's, um, it's not going to look good. If I got, if I got fired for that, you know, on a regular boat, it probably wouldn't be that big a deal because only I know that me and the captain know that it's not televised right. for the world to see. So right. it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, this season. Have you heard stories? Because I think I, I talked to someone too. I, I've talked to a lot of people from Below Deck for this upcoming <laughs> season. Have you heard that too? Just like in doing what you do with your podcast where someone's like, yeah, after the show, I tried to get a job. And yeah, like they don't want to touch me with a temper pole just because I was on Below Deck. You know, I, I asked that question to a few people. Um, I asked that question to actually uh, Ashton because Ashton was having, a, um, you know, Ashton had a rough season last season, obviously. Um, and I asked him that question and he said, um, it didn't so far anyway, at the time he said so far, everything has been normal. So, um, you know, it depends who watches a lot of maritime people that don't watch the show as well. So, you know, if you find a, a boat, a captain that doesn't watch the show, then you're probably in the clear. So, um, but for the most part, everyone's doing really well. Um, they're either going on to bigger, bigger boats or branching out of the maritime industry and doing their own thing, fashion, or um, like I believe Anastasia started a uh, like a yoga cafe in she did. Like so, she did. Yeah. So it's like it's whatever you want to do. You know, um, it's it's you know not everyone is a yachty. You know, everyone has you know it's it's fun. It's a hobby, but as a career, it's not for everybody.